Hey, feeling good, like I should When in the blue, walk around the neighborhood Feeling blessed Good evening, and welcome to the Class of 2020 Senior Recognition Ceremony. This is one of the best nights of the school year. It is an opportunity for our students, staff, family members, and community members to see what happens when students and teachers work together to achieve high standards in academics, athletics, and citizenship. Obviously, None of the success that our seniors are being recognized for this evening happens by chance. This success happens through hard work, dedication, and teamwork. Seniors, you owe a large debt of gratitude to a lot of people. These people consist of your classmates, friends, family, teachers, and coaches. As we celebrate your high school achievements, Please remember that your success is, in large part, because of the good people you have surrounded yourself with. Seniors, please give a nice round of applause in order to thank those people who are here for you tonight. I would now like to introduce our senior class president, Bailey Thompson. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good evening and welcome to the awards ceremony for the graduating class of 2020. As your senior class president, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of our family, friends, students, sponsors, and staff watching virtually. The class of 2020 would like to thank our community and the sponsors of awards and scholarships for rewarding the many merits to our class. Tonight is about recognizing parents, teachers, family, friends, and coaches who have helped each of us succeed. Without your knowledge, dedication, guidance, encouragement, love, and support, we would not have made it to this point in our education. So thank you all for shaping us into the young adults that we are today. I know this virtual format is very different from past award ceremonies. So I would like to especially thank our administration for providing the senior class a memorable end of the year experience. Tonight will be a fun, inspirational and exciting time as many will receive awards as well as scholarships from local businesses, Woodridge organizations and Woodridge Foundation. Good luck to the students of the 2020 graduating class tonight and in your future endeavors. Let's get tonight's program started. The purpose of the President's Award for Educational Excellence is to encourage students to aspire to the highest educational standards possible. The criteria for this award are a 3.5 or higher unweighted GPA, an ACT score of 27 or higher in either mathematics or reading. Congratulations to the following Presidential Awards for ex Educational Excellence. Sarah Austin, Micah Blair, Ryan Case, Isabella Sharakas, Kimberly Connell, Lillian Cooper, Samuel Dutt, Aaron Eby, Andrew Fuller, Elizabeth Howard, Abigail Huff, Joshua Kearns, Michaela Kearns, Andrew Keller, Dylan Kucinich, Sydney Kolke, Benjamin Lahosky, Joshua Malik, Elizabeth Nichols, Jessa Patterson, Ethan Polachek, Madison Elizabeth Randall, Avery Rickenbacker, Leah Rose, Andrew Rush, Seth Shaheen, 
Leah Stanfield, Rosemary Sterling, Evan Taylor, Joshua Tompkin, Victor Torres, Evan Wagner, Rhiannon Wallace, and Reagan Wesson. Good evening. My name is Chris Vassilotti. I will be reading the Army Reserve National Scholar Athletes for Woodridge High School this year. The U.S. Army Reserve believes that young people should strive to be the best they can be in all areas of their lives. The Scholar Athlete Award is our way of recognizing and rewarding selected high school students who are doing just that, excelling both in the classroom and on the athletic field. This year's Army Reserve National Scholar Athletes are Isabella Sharakis and Benjamin Lahosky. Our next award is the OHSAA Scholar Athlete Award. The OHSAA Scholar Athlete Award is given to a senior boy and girl who have the highest scholastic average while receiving a minimum of four varsity letters in all sports combined. This year's OHSAA Scholar Athlete recipient is Elizabeth Howard. Our next award is the OHSA Courageous Student Award. This award is given to a senior who currently has or has overcome a serious illness or injury or has overcome great adversity in a positive way or a student who has gone far beyond normal to assist a fellow student, family member, or friend, or other extraordinary situation where a student has displayed tremendous courage against overwhelming odds. This year's OHSA Courageous Student is Seth Shaheen. Our next award is the OHSA Archie Griffin Award. The OHSA Archie Griffin Sportsmanship Award is named for two-time Heisman Trophy winner, Archie Griffin, and is presented each year to a male and female student who have become outstanding in their efforts to promote sportsmanship in school and in their community. This year's recipients are Miles Ashbaugh and Avery Rickenbacker. Our next award is the National Federation of High Schools National Award of Excellence. This award is presented to students who exhibit qualities that embody good sportsmanship, citizenship, moral character, and sporting behavior. The NFHS National Award of Excellence this year is Andrew Rush. Our next award is the Ohio version of the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association Scholarship. In accordance with the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association, or the NIAAA, purpose to promote, facilitate, and increase the knowledge and understanding of the vital role of interscholastic athletics in the educational system, this scholarship program is meant to foster and recognize the partnership between the NIAAA and secondary education. The scholarships recognize the distinguished scholastic leadership and sportsmanship attributes of high school student athletes and the importance of high school athletic, athletics in each student's life. Both of this year's winners from the state of Ohio are from Woodridge High School. These students now advance to the regional level of competition. This year's State of Ohio NIAAA Scholarship Award winners are Elizabeth Howard and Andrew McKeel. Our next award is the Billy Williams Memorial Award. Billy Williams was a coach and physical education teacher at Woodridge High School in the 1960s and 1970s. She was active in girls' athletics and coached the first girls' team at Woodridge High School. She passed away of cancer in the early 1970s. 
This year's recipient of the Billy Williams Memorial Award is Elizabeth Howe. Our next award is the John Lahosky Athletic Award. John Lahosky was an outstanding football player at Boston Heights School and at the University of Akron. In his senior year at Akron, he was accorded all Ohio Conference honors as a fullback on offense and a linebacker on defense. He coached at the University of Akron for 10 years before returning to Woodridge High School as a football coach for eight years. These athletes' names will be prominently displayed on the plaque in our lobby. This year's recipient is Micah Blair. Our next award is the Doug Fazzino Memorial Award. Doug Fazzino was a student and an athlete at Woodridge High School prior to entering the U.S. Army during the Vietnam conflict. Doug was killed in action on June 11, 1968 in Chang, Lao, South Vietnam. This award is given to outstanding senior athletes in track and wrestling each year. This year's recipients of the Doug Pizzino Memorial Award are Miles Ashbaugh, Riley Galehouse, Reese Mercer, and Andrew Rush. Next, I will be presenting the Akron Beacon Journal Star Students for Woodridge High School this year. The Akron Beacon Journal recognizes students who show excellence in the classroom, school, and community. This year's star students from Woodridge High School are Samuel Dutt and Leah Stanfield. Our next award is the News Channel 5 Best of Class. This year's recipient from Woodridge High School is Isabella Shirakis. The Character Counts Genco Scholarship was established several years ago by Mr. Larry Genco. Three of Mr. Genco's children and his son-in-law attended Woodridge. He wanted to award students who possess great character attributes, are heading to the workforce after high school, and have an outstanding work ethic. This year's recipients are Marissa Gilbert, Sebastian Graham, and Andrew Mayer. The Ohio Association of Public School Employees Local 544 is a support staff bargaining unit for the Woodridge Local Schools. This year's recipient was selected because of his high academic achievements and his involvement in activities outside of the classroom. On behalf of OAPSE, we are honored to present this $500 award to Malcolm Nightingale. The Woodridge Music Club is honored to award scholarships each year to several deserving seniors who have participated in the musical arts throughout their years at Woodridge. These students contribute so much to the program musically, but their value as leaders must also be recognized. It is with honor to award $500 scholarships to the following individuals. Madeline Cooper, Elizabeth Howard, Abigail Huff, Elizabeth Nichols, Leah Stanfield, Eleanor Sterling, Evan Wagner, and Rhiannon Wallace. Mrs. Garman was a teacher at the primary level who passed away unexpectedly in 2009. This senior class was in first grade at the time and was the last class Mrs. Garman physically reached out and taught. This scholarship is awarded to a senior whose life has been impacted in some way by Mrs. Garman. There are four seniors who will receive this scholarship this year. The recipients for this $500 scholarship are Kyle Motis, Jessa Patterson, Madison E. Randall, and Andrew Rush. St. John's Episcopal Church congratulates the Woodridge High School class of 2020. St. John's is presenting two $1,000 scholarships. The scholarships are in memory of Sally Russell. Mrs. Russell taught in Cuyahoga Falls for 30 years. She cared very much about the youth in her community. We are pleased to present the 2020 Sally Russell Memorial Scholarships to Rosemary Sterling and Evan Wagner. The WESPTO congratulates the Woodridge High School Class of 2020. 
The Woodridge PTO is a parent teacher organization that encourages involvement throughout leadership, volunteering, fundraising, and communications in order to ensure that students in our district are provided the best education and experiences the school community can offer. It is our pleasure to provide two $500 scholarships this year to seniors who stand out for volunteer efforts and giving back to the community. Congratulations to Leah Rose and Rosemary Sterling. The Woodridge Recreation Association awards one male and one female graduating senior a $500 scholarship. In order to qualify for the scholarship, the recipient must have participated in a recreation activity for at least one year. This year's recipients are Andrew Rush and Eleanor Sterling. 20 plus years ago, the Morehouse family decided to honor their husband and father, Tom Morehouse, by awarding a Woodridge graduate a $500 scholarship in his name. Tom at one time served as the president of the Woodridge Booster Club, but this was not what he was known for. Tom built Woodridge's original football stadium. He also constructed a number of other projects in both the high school and the former intermediate school. These projects were done in evenings and on weekends, aside from his normal job. Tom always held the opinion of let's not form a committee, let's just roll up our sleeves and get to work. That was Tom's work ethic, just get involved and get going. Tom loved serving the Woodridge community, but he could have not done it without the support of his wife, Barbara. She was always running errands for his projects, serving, serving meals to the football team and taking care of their four children, all while working full-time herself. She continued her involvement in our community by being involved in both the Booster Club and the Woodridge Lunch Bunch. The Morehouses have four children, nine grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren attend Woodridge. While Tom and Barb were not Bulldogs by birth, they were Bulldogs by choice. They both held Woodridge in high regard and it is our hope that you always will as well. Due to the unique circumstances involving the class of 2020 this year, the Morehouse family has decided to do something unique specifically for the class of 2020. We are awarding four $500 scholarships, two in the name of Tom Morehouse and two in the name of Barbara Morehouse. It is our honor to award the 2020 scholarships to the following. The Tom Morehouse Memorial Scholarship recipients are Owen Klein and Benjamin Lahosky. The Barbara Morehouse Memorial Scholarship recipients are Nadia Mansour and Eleanor Sterling. The Woodridge Education Association gives a $1,000 scholarship each year, which can be used towards tuition, books, room, and board. This year's recipient will attend Kent State University in the fall and is interested in attaining a degree in pre-med. This year's recipient is Nadia Mansour. It is with honor to present the Judy and Pat King Memorial Woodridge Music Scholarship. We present this scholarship in loving memory of Judy and Pat King, who were active in supporting the Woodridge community, schools, and music club with three sons in the Woodridge band. Judy was a very accomplished pianist and taught private lessons to many Woodridge students. She also served as PTA president and both Judy and Pat both served on the Woodridge School Board. Upon her passing, Pat established this scholarship in her honor. This scholarship is awarded to a deserving senior who has participating in the Woodridge Band and her choir, has shown a talent for music, and is planning to continue their education beyond high school and major in music. Because this year there are two deserving students, both planning to major in music, we are awarding two scholarships of $500 each. The first recipient of the $500 scholarship is planning to pursue a degree in music industry at Capital University and is also planning on studying in the Conservatory of Music where she plans to obtain a Bachelor of Music degree. Congratulations, Abigail Hoff. We hope this will help you to pursue your career in music therapy, and we wish you the best. Our second recipient of a $500 scholarship this year plans to major in musical theater and communication. She has hopes of someday performing on Broadway to use her talent. Congratulations, Leah Stanfield. It is our sincere hope that this will help you achieve your goals. Rotary is an international organization of 1.2 million people that practice the concept of service above self. The members of Rotary volunteer their time and efforts to serve others at the international, national, and local level. 
The Northampton Cuyahoga Valley Rotary Club participates in service at all levels, but one of our priorities is to provide support at the local level. In 1965, three years after our beginning, we started to provide scholarships to the seniors of the Boston Northampton School District. Over the last 55 years, our club has given over $200,000 in scholarships and that will continue with this graduating class. These are the scholarship recipients for the 2020 school year. Madison Augustine, Isabella Chiracos, Gabrielle Del Propost, Samuel Dutt, Elizabeth Howard, Nadia Mansour, Elizabeth Nichols, Rosie Sterling, Evan Wagner, and Rhiannon Wallace. The $500 Janet Stammen Memorial Scholarship Award goes to Andrew Rush for his athletic participation in wrestling, an excellent essay summarizing his student athlete char character representing the spirit of Janet Stammen. Congratulations, Andrew. Congratulations to the female athlete awardees, Bella Sharakos, a three-sport athlete participating in golf, basketball, and track, Leah Stanfield, a two-sport athlete participating in cross-country and track, Eleanor Sterling, a two-sport athlete participating in soccer, track, and football, Rosemary Sterling, a two-sport athlete participating in cross-country and track. Congratulations to the male athlete awardees, Miles Ashbaugh, a three-sport athlete participating in football, wrestling, and baseball. Samuel Dutt, a two-sport athlete participating in cross-country and track. Benjamin Lahosky, a three-sport athlete participating in football, basketball, and track. And Andrew McHugh, a three-sport athlete participating in football, basketball, and baseball. The top female Bulldog Scholarship Award goes to Elizabeth Howard, a three-sport athlete participating in cross-country, basketball, and track. She was a multi-sport state qualifier two of her four seasons in track in all four of her seasons of cross-country. The top male Bulldog Scholarship Award goes to Micah Blair, a two-sport athlete participating in cross-country and track where he was a multi-sport state qualifier and a three-time state champion. Congratulations to Micah and Elizabeth. The Woodridge Foundation was established in 1997 as a vehicle for enriching the educational experiences and enhancing the educational facilities of Woodridge students. The purpose of the foundation is to accept and expand funds in support of curricular and extracurricular activities, programs, and facilities of the Woodridge Local School District and to provide financial assistance to graduates of Woodridge High School to assist in their post-secondary education. This year, we are pleased to provide 37 scholarships. The donors of each scholarship have defined strict criteria for their awards. The foundation trustees have taken those requirements into account in awarding each scholarship. The I.O. and Mary Frances Forbes Adams Memorial Scholarship was created to honor students who have demonstrated a commitment to the development of intellectual, social, and spiritual potential through a reputation for honesty, kindness, and responsibility. The recipients are Isabella Shirakis and Seth Shaheen. The Woodridge Foundation is pleased to award the Paul Underwood Scholarships to five students who have demonstrated a commitment to involvement in the school and community. These recipients are Lillian Cooper, Elizabeth Howard, Dylan Kucinich, Bryce Oliver, Jessa Patterson, and Rosemary Starlin. Each year, the Faber Foundation provides funds to the Woodridge Foundation to award two scholarships. This year's recipients are Brandon Albright and Allison Palm. Gojo is a major corporate partner in our community. Each year, Gojo provides two scholarships for graduating seniors planning careers in business or science. We are pleased to award the Gojo scholarships to Andrew Fuller and Madison M. Randall. The Cuyahoga Falls Lions Club provides funding for the annual award of the Thomas Wright Scholarship. This year, we are pleased to provide the award to Grace LeBay.
The Woodridge Foundation is pleased to award the Margaret Broughton Louis Tubby Fox Scholarships each year to deserving residents of Peninsula. This year's recipients are Benjamin Lahosky and Elizabeth Presley. The Woodridge High School of Class of 2010 is honored to provide a scholarship to a deserving student who demonstrates exceptional leadership skills, a passion for community involvement, and involvement in athletics. This year's recipient is Elizabeth Howard. The Working on the Dream Scholarship is awarded each year to students planning to major in business. Awardees must have been involved in athletics and other activities in high school. This year, we are pleased to award the Working on a Dream Scholarship to Joshua Fleming and Andrew Rush. The Barbara Myers Memorial Scholarship is awarded to students who has articulated a strong positive influence by a teacher in the schools. This year's recipient is Lillian Cooper. The Patrick Feeney Alumni Scholarship is provided annually to a track or cross-country participant who excels in community service during his or her years in high school. This year's recipient is Micah Blair. The Randall Keller Scholarship is designed to recognize a student exhibiting exceptional entrepreneurial qualities. This year, we are pleased to award the prize to Marvin Montgomery, Jr. The Woodridge Foundation is pleased to award a music and or arts scholarship to Sydney Brown. The Woody Merriman Memorial Scholarship was created to honor a longtime coach and teacher in the district. This year's recipient is Benjamin Lahosky. Another local firm, State 8 Motorcycles, is proud to provide two scholarships to graduating seniors. The recipients are Samuel Dutt and Leah Rose. The Decker Fasteners Company is pleased to provide funding for two scholarships this year. The recipients are Michaela Kearns and Andrew Keller. The Julius Slocum Scholarship was created as a memorial to a beloved Woodridge student who passed away far too soon. Designed for an education or music major, the recipient must demonstrate a commitment to community service. This year, we are pleased to award the Julius Slocum Memorial Scholarship to Madeline Stickle. The Heidi Legacy Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually to a student exhibiting the qualities of friendship. The awardee must be an outstanding student involved in extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Bailey Thompson. The Woodridge Foundation is pleased to provide several new scholarships this year. Provided with funds through the Akron Community Foundation and an alumni of Woodridge High School, these awards are designed for specific college majors and interests. The Melinda Bond Remington Memorial Scholarships honor Melinda Mindy Bond Remington, a 1972 graduate of Woodridge High School. She graduated from Miami of Ohio in 1976 with a BS in nursing. Mindy first taught and coached at Country Day School in Charlotte, North Carolina, and later for many years at Old Trail School in Bath, Ohio. She loved participating in sports as well as teaching. Swimming, water, and downhill snow skiing Tennis, hiking, biking, and cross-country skiing were some of her favorites. Mindy also loved art, painting with pastels and acrylics, and turning off cast-off furniture pieces into beautiful works of art. She was a talented outdoor photographer and gardener as well. Mindy loved the outdoors and all animals. All of her cats and dogs were rescues. After she retired, Mindy spent a lot of time volunteering at her church and working with children in, at the Salvation Army. Mindy loved life. In her memory, we would like to give these scholarships and hopefully, like Mindy, make the world a better place. The recipients are Brianna Johnson, Kyle Motis, Andrew McKeel, and Eleanor Sterling. Similarly, and from the same donor, the Ann Henshaw Ferrari Memorial Scholarships are awarded for the first time this year to students majoring in a speech, language, or music field who have demonstrated a spirit of volunteerism. These awards are going to Abigail Huff and Leah Stanfield. Each year, the administrative team, faculty, and staff of the Woodridge Local School District raise funds in an effort to provide scholarships to students graduating from Woodridge High School. This year, we are pleased to award two scholarships to two deserving students in memory of two devoted Woodridge educators who passed away this year. Marcy Mercer devoted her career to home economics. T. 
teaching in the Woodridge local school districts for nearly 42 years. The matriarch of a very active and well-known family in the district, Mrs. Mercer, passed away on March 16th of this year. To honor her memory and service to our district, we are pleased to award the Marcy Mercer Memorial Scholarship to Rhiannon Wallace. Dr. Richard Clapp served as superintendent of the Woodridge Local School Districts from 1989 to 2000. During his tenure, the, Wood the district built the current middle school, the administrative office building, and made renovations to other schools in the district. Dr. Clapp was well known for his belief that by putting children first, schools succeed. He worked tire tirelessly, always focusing on doing what was the best for students. Dr. Clapp also passed away in March of this year. We are pleased to honor his memory and service to the district by awarding the Dr. Richard N. Clapp Memorial Scholarship to Evan Wagner. Ladies and gentlemen, our National Honor Society members for the class of 2020. Brandon Albright, Jasira Arnett, Isabella Sharakos, Lillian Cooper, Gabrielle Del Propost, Samuel Dutt, Aaron Eby, Andrew Fuller, Riley Galehouse, Elizabeth Howard, Abigail Huff, Michaela Kearns, Andrew Keller, Owen Klein, Benjamin Lahosky, Grace LeBay, Joshua Malley, Nadia Mansour, Andrew McKeel, Jade Mongold, Kyle Motais, Jessa Patterson, Madison E. Randall, Madison M. Randall, Sydney Roan, Avery Rickenbacker, Leah Rose, Andrew Rush, Seth Shaheen, Leah Stanfield, Eleanor Sterling, Rosemary Sterling, Bailey Thompson, Joshua Tompkin, Victor Torres, Evan Wagner, and, Race, and Reagan Wessig. NHS is the oldest and best known student recognition program. For nearly 100 years, NHS members have been making a difference in their schools and communities through their scholarship, service, leadership, and character. In an effort to recognize the most outstanding NHS members in our Woodridge High School chapter, we will be awarding $400 per scholarship to four of our senior class members. Winners were selected based on essays of how they have exemplified the four pillars of National Honor Society during their time at Woodridge High School. Scholarship is characterized by a commitment to learning. This pillar can only be achieved through diligence and effort. Our scholarship recipient personifies scholarship with an unmatched work ethic and dedication to her education. Congratulations to Rosemary Sterling. The pillar of service emphasizes the willingness to work for those in need without compensation. As a service club, NHS is highly concerned with giving its all to the school and community. Our service recipient told us that he kept working with the wrestling program even though he was injured and unable to wrestle. He wanted to give something back to a program that had given him everything. Congratulations to Andrew Rush. Leaders sacrifice their personal interests in order to yield to the needs of others. Leaders need a wisdom and self-confidence to affect change in all aspects of their lives. Our leadership recipient describes how she has been a silent leader in her four years at Woodridge. She has led the student body by example demonstrating the right thing to do in and out of class. Congratulations to Leah Rose. K-12 
character is a product of constant striving to make the right choices day after day. Our character recipient demonstrates respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship every single day. She took her experience of being bullied as a kid and used it to stop others from being bullied in high school. Congratulations to Bailey Thompson. The West Lacey National Honor Society Scholarship is named for West Lacey, the longtime advisor of the National Honor Society who still teaches all of the members about service and his ongoing commitment to St. John's Soup Kitchen. The members of National Honor Society select a classmate every year to receive this $300 scholarship who is not a member, yet as an individual who exemplifies the four pillars of the National Honor Society. Being recognized by the members of NHS for her achievements is Rain Cruxton. Congratulations, Rain. What a great group of seniors we have this year in Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, or FCCLA. These students have been consistent in helping others. What is so impressive about these individuals is that all of them are involved in sports, as well as other extracurricular activities and are employed. Free time is a luxury for them, yet they fill it with volunteering. In order to earn their cords, they had to participate in 40 hours of service in addition to service hours they do for National Honor Society. These students devote a lot of time for others. Congratulations and thanks for being giving citizens. Samuel Dutt, Elizabeth Howard, Andrew Rush, Sash Shaheen, Leah Stanfield, and Victor Torres. The following seniors have met the criteria for an academic diploma of honors as identified by the state of Ohio Department of Education. Kennedy Albert, Brandon Albright, Jasira Arnett, Sarah Austin, Kevin Baker, Micah Blair, Ryan Case, Lillian Cooper, Rain Crookston, Gabrielle Del Propost, Isabella Dulciato, Samuel Dutt, Aaron Eby, Joshua Fleming, Andrew Fuller, Riley Galehouse, Elizabeth Howard, Joshua Kearns, Michaela Kearns, Andrew Keller, Owen Klein, Dylan Kucinich, Sydney Kolke, Benjamin Lahosky, Joshua Malley, Nadia Mansour, Andrew McKeel, Michaela Mitchell, Kyle Motais, Kyla Neal, Elizabeth Nichols, Ethan Polacek, Elizabeth Presley, Madison Elizabeth Randall, Madison McKenzie Randall, Chad Renner, Sydney Rohn, Avery Rickenbacker, Leah Rose, Andrew Rush, Seth Shaheen, Madeline Shu. Leah Stanfield, Eleanor Sterling, Rosemary Sterling, Evan Taylor, Bailey Thompson, Joshua Tompkin, Victor Torres, Berkeley Upton, Raymond Banneman, Eileen Vasquez, Evan Wagner, Rhiannon Wallace, Aiden Washington, and Reagan Wessig. Abigail Huff earned a Fine Arts Honors Diploma, and Isabella Sharakis earned an Academic Honors Diploma and a STEM Honors Diploma. This student has been constantly involved in art classes since her freshman year. She has tried all different types of art courses and experimented with art media. She has become an amazing portrait artist and can be found painting extensive scenes with acrylic or chalk pastel. 
As she has developed her own style over the last four years, she has always been humble in receiving classmates' praise. She is also willing to help peers and give them art advice when they ask. She is a natural teacher and incredibly kind and patient. We congratulate Jory Edwards on receiving the Art Department Award and are excited to see where the future takes her as she continues education and a career in fine art. The Outstanding Senior for Band Award winner is Abby Huff. Abby Huff is an eight-year member of the Woodridge Band program. Abby has taken private lessons on the clarinet since middle school and has performed in several musical ensembles at Woodridge. In addition to the Kent State and University of Akron Honors Bands, Abby auditioned for and earned a spot in the prestigious Cleveland Youth Wind Symphony. Abby's hard work and selfless attitude has helped our music program immensely. As band president, Abby has made countless contributions to our band program this year. Her commitment and dedication to the Woodridge Fine Arts Program has resulted in Abby earning a Fine Arts Honors Diploma from the Ohio Department of Education. Abby will attend Capital University in the fall to study the music industry. Congratulations and best of luck to Abby Huff. Congratulations to the class of 2020, and especially to our senior members of choir. The seniors have been vital in shaping the choir throughout their years in Woodridge, acting as leaders and setting the tone for product rehearsals and quality performances. I sincere, I'd sincerely like to thank them for their commitment and dedication, and also the way they support one another and lift one another up. These seniors led the choirs to district and state contests and performed high quality repertoire here at Woodridge and throughout the community. This class has been a special group since seventh grade choir and will be dearly missed. It's also my privilege to acknowledge one senior in particular who has consistently gone above and beyond, both locally and in service to the choir. She has been the president of the choir, giving of her own time to create and teach choreography, as well as being a tremendous reader and musician who leads in rehearsal, on stage and behind the scenes. She is the whole package, talented, hardworking, and kind to others. It gives me great pleasure to recognize Leah Stanfield as a department award winner in vocal music. Brianna Wallace has been selected as a 2020 Outstanding Senior for the English Department. Brianna loves to read and selects challenging books for herself beyond class requirements of honors in AP English. She enriches class discussions by sharing insights about connections with other classes, especially from Latin and history. She has learned to use writing as a tool to develop and explore ideas for herself, and she knows how to craft sentences and paragraphs to share those ideas with others. Rhiannon represents the highest ideals of the English language arts. Congratulations, Rhiannon. In choosing the Family and Consumer Sciences Award focuses is placed on respect, responsibility, cooperation, integrity, enrollment in FCS courses, and involvement, involvement in FCCLA. This year's Outstanding Senior Award for Family and Consumer Sciences is Leah Stanfield. Leah has excelled in FCS courses. She has been involved in FCCLA as a member and officer all four years of high school. She competed in FCCLA and advanced to the state competition all four years and to the national competition two years. She has been dedicated to her Woodridge family her entire high school career. Congratulations, Leah. The mathematics department would like to recognize Evan Wagner as a recipient of the Outstanding Senior Award for Mathematics. Evan has consistently demonstrated excellence in all of his math courses here at WHS. He truly embodies mathematical proficiency and has an innate understanding of not only how, but why. Congratulations, Evan. The Male Physical Education Award is awarded to the student who best exemplifies the skill, enthusiasm, cooperation, leadership and enjoyment of many movement forms, demonstrates a willingness to assist others in physical, ex 
education classes, demonstrates a healthy, active lifestyle, is a role model for other students in physical education, and demonstrates an understanding that physical education provides opportunities for enjoyment, challenge, self-expression, and social interaction. This physical education award this year goes to Benjamin Rado. This young lady is receiving the physical education award for her courage this year. She attended class each day and gave 100% with a positive attitude. She never complained and she never said, I can't. Instead, she used her creativity, communication, and problem solving skills to find success and enjoyment in every situation. She is an inspiration and a joy to have in class. It is with hope that she also participates and always stays active. This physical education award goes to Natalie Strongoli. This senior class has many outstanding and exceptional individuals who we will be remembered for their gifts and talents that they have shared with all of us and you will make many contributions in the future. This year's recipient of this science award is an excellent addition to the long list of alumni that have received this award. I had the pleasure of having her in class for three years in a row. In the fall, she will major in chemistry at Case Western Reserve. We will miss you and congratulations to the 2020 Outstanding Science Award winner, Isabella Sharakis. This young man has excelled at the most advanced social studies courses offered at Woodridge High School. He is adored and respected by both the teachers and students alike. His enthusiasm radiates throughout the classroom, both in natural classroom activities as well as in projects and simulations. We are honored to name Seth Shaheen as the Outstanding Senior in Social Studies. The award for Outstanding Senior in the World Language Department for the Class of 2020 goes to Abigail Hopp. Throughout her five years of Spanish study at Woodridge High School, Abby has excelled in all types of classroom activities. Whether working on a short homework assignment or a much more complex class project, Abby has given 100% to make sure that she has performed to her very best. Though the last two months away from school has been very difficult for all of us, Abby adapted instantly to the online learning environment and continued to perform at the extreme high level that she has been maintaining throughout her time at Woodridge High School. She strives for excellence in all of her endeavors and serves as a leader and a positive role model for her peers. It has been an honor to watch Abby progress as a student, but more importantly, as a kind, responsible person that will most importantly have a positive effect on society no matter where her future may lead. We are proud to announce that Erin Eby is the winner of the Yearbook Senior Award. She was an outstanding senior editor this year. Thank you, Erin. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you our senior class officers, and I would also like to thank our senior class officers for all the help they have done for our virtual programs this spring. Treasurer Lillian Cooper. Secretary Elizabeth Howard. Vice President Andrew Rush. President Bailey Thompson. The Woodridge High School staff nominates 10% of the graduating senior class that they feel has been supportive in a variety of school activities, attendance in after school programs, and are positive and encourage others. This year's recipients are Brandon Albright, Martin Ashbaugh, Miles Ashbaugh, Kevin Baker, Isabella Sharakas, Benjamin Lahosky, Joshua Malley, Andrew McKeel, Kyle Motice, Eleanor Sterling, Natalie Strongoli, Bailey Thompson, and Victor Torres. The Woodridge High School staff nominates one senior they believe represents the following characteristics. Being positive in class, being active in outside activities, and supporting others 
in school activities. The Spirit Award is second only to the Woodridge Man and Woman of the Year Awards. The honor this year goes to Andrew Rush. Woodridge High School is proud to have established what we consider our most prestigious honor, the Man of the Year and Woman of the Year Awards. The following qualifications were considered by staff members when nominating the recipients. Character, consideration for others and a spirit of cooperation. Loyalty, sense of duty and service to our school. Leadership, personality, initiative, self-control, and responsibility. Activities, voluntary participation in school programs. Reliability, regular attendance and punctuality for assignments. Scholarship, academic achievements based on ability rather than grades. The Woodridge High School staff selected to receive this prestigious honor are Elizabeth Howard and Marvin Montgomery, Jr. Congratulations to all of our seniors and their families. I would like to thank all of our class officers this evening, along with all of those who sponsored scholarships. Thank you to Mrs. Canella, Mr. Vassilotti, Mrs. Miller, Mrs. Rausch, Mrs. Neff, and Mrs. Snyder. I would also like to thank Marvin Montgomery and Drew Rush for producing not only our senior recognition ceremony tonight, but our baccalaureate ceremony as well. Marvin and Drew have gone above and beyond in ensuring that the class of 2020 is honored and celebrated. Marvin and Drew represent all that is good in our senior class. For our closing remarks, I would like to introduce our senior class vice president, Drew Rush. Class of 2020, by the time you are watching this, you will have graduated. Congratulations, you have all earned it. Although it is different this year in how everything is being done, that does not take away from anything you have accomplished here at the high school. And that is what tonight was for. Tonight honored all of the amazing accomplishments of the class of 2020. With all of your hard work and perseverance, you've all made a change in your community. It has been a long road with many ups and downs, but I believe the ups have far outweighed the downs. We have accomplished so much in these four short years in so many different ways. On the fields, courts, mats, and track, we have come away with numerous PTC titles, as well as earning three state championships in cross country. We have excelled in the arts, bringing home many excellent ratings and numerous state competition appearances. We have excelled in the classroom, with many students making her honor roll every single semester. We have had students involved in numerous six district compact programs where they leap started their careers and made valuable connections along the way. Some students chose to go to a university and start to work towards their degree. And some students have started to enter the workforce through the CBI program and have already figured out what they want their career to be. I want to take a few moments to thank all of our sponsors for making tonight possible. First off, thank you to the Woodridge Foundation, the Woodridge Booster Club, and the Woodridge Service Organization. All of these organizations have donated a tremendous time back into the class of 2020, and we are all very appreciative. Thank you to all the teachers and administration that took their time to recognize so many students and make all of their hard work be seen. Without you guys, none of us would have been able to walk the stage two and a half weeks ago. Every one of us seniors is so grateful to have been given the opportunity to be recognized for all their hard work, and tonight made that possible. Class of 2020, you have made it. Take a moment and congratulate yourself, because you have all earned it. Thank you.